So being as cheap as it was, it did come with a little, a few issues. The front tire here is missing a bearing and the uh, bearing housing is cracked. So I went and bought a new hub for it and that should be here in about four days. I also think it's missing a front brake caliper, but I'm not too worried about that. It's still got the rear brakes and those work just fine, so yeah. Okay, so let me take the plastics off, the engine off, and then uh, anything else I need to and see what the bare bones looks like. All right, so now I have to somehow put this fat old diesel on the chassis, and I think I'm just gonna try to trim it down by taking off the gas tank and then the muffler and then see where that gets us before I start cutting the frame up. I got the torque converter plate on there and that was kind of my biggest worries to see if that could fit. I did have to cut a few things back there but I think it is going to do just fine. Unfortunately the next thing is I have to line up the chain with this sprocket here and they're about four inches off. So I don't know if I can just add some spacers right here and just move the uh, whole sprocket over but I don't know. So I need the sprocket to be moved about three inches from the original hub. So what I'm gonna do is, I got this tubing, I'm just gonna put this over like that, cut it to length, and then the sprocket should go perfectly kind of on the other side. And I'll just need extra long bolts. Check it out, I got my little extension here, bought some longer bolts, put our spacer in there, and then bolted it all the way through. And I think, that's going to be good to go. So I got the engine all mounted on there. Now I have to uh, kind of put the frame back together. And I suppose I'll just have some tubing that kind of just goes around and meets up to the other side. But yeah, anyways, we have made a lot of progress.
Well, I got the little ATV all taken apart. I painted it up and we're gonna take this thing on a test ride. Well guys, I already screwed up. I popped the chain off. I lost the master link. It is somewhere in this general area. So another thing is when I extended this sprocket, uh, I realized that there's gonna be a lot more torque on where the bolts are. So I actually shoved in a couple of old drill bits in there just so that it will be against the shaft completely. So I think that definitely helped me. Otherwise, these probably would have broke right off. Well, guys, I think this little guy had too much torque for that little chain. I was going to try and do a little bit more with it, you know, pull some logs or something, but unfortunately, the chain broke too quick. So I got a few shots in there, but I got to get out of here. As you might tell, we're experiencing some flooding. Let me show you. This is a driveway, and right here is a road. There's some people over there. But before I turn into an island, I gotta get the hell out of here. Hopefully I can get out of here with that truck. Anyways guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the Monster uh, Kids Quad ATV. I'll have a follow up video to this because I feel like I didn't do it justice. But yeah, anyways guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you later. Oh my gosh.